Hello. Hey guys. Hey. Uh, just going to give another minute for people to join. Hi, Jules. Hey, Delcat. How are you? I'm good, you? Yeah. yeah, not bad, thank you. Hey, Elaine. Hello. Um, there's a few more people signed in, so I'll give them another minute or so. Next here. Okay, um, hey, um, so welcome to today's lunchtime class. Um, it is your WOD session. Um, if you have two dumbbells, preferably please use both of them. Um, if you don't, then um, you'll do everything essentially twice so on one arm and then on the other and um, just let me know if you do i think i know whether most of you do or don't have uh double weights or two sets of weights now um so um here is your class would say i'll talk through everything that's on here um i have adjusted the last bit slightly um just to cater for people that kind of like don't have bands but will still kind of work um a little bit of full body uh, so today's session is sort of like your strength session and um, the first part it did say every two minutes but um, this morning people kind of needed that extra rest because it was a little bit um, tough. Hey Diane. Um, so every two and a half minutes you're going to do 10 double dumbbell or kettlebell clusters. Okay so if you have two weights you'll be doing obviously 10. If you um, only have one uh, but it's kind of like a reasonable challenge then you can probably just do maybe like 16 reps so you do eight on each side um so you're not just completely killing yourself um so cluster is uh clean from the floor into a front spot and then a push press okay so like a thruster but with a clean at the start um so we will warm up for that um and then part b uh three rounds for time of 15 floor presses so Essentially, so benching on the floor, but um, your elbows just go down to the ground, and then 15 bent over rows. Okay, so push pull circuit, three rounds of time, and then the last bit will be four rounds of time of 12 push ups, um, 12 bicep curls. Um, so, uh, probably best if you guys hold uh, one kettlebell, one dumbbell in both hands, and then curl that up. Um, if that's easy, then you can do two or just do super slow on those bicep curls. 12 overhead dumbbell lunges or kettlebell lunges. So holding it for six alternating reps in each arm and then change um, and then 12 sit-ups. Okay, any questions on any of this guys? Awesome, as usual, any issues, um, just either wave or unmute yourself and um, shout out and I'll help you up. Otherwise, uh, let's get started. Okay, so um, let's just start by getting nice and warm. So just reaching up to the sky and just tilt from side to side, pushing the hips out, stretching the arms out. So stretching the lats on both sides and stretching the spine as well. You've been sitting down all morning, just loosening you off. Try and stretch down a little bit further each time. Do that three or four times each side. Go okay, really push the hips all the way out to the side. Then you're just gonna wrap your arms around you, hugging yourself, and you're just gonna roll forward, arch back. Again, just moving that spine three times in one direction and three times in the other. Good, nice. 
and then reaching down to the floor, nice straight legs just drop down naturally and then just rotate round this way as well. Again, a few times in each direction. Again, this way. Okay, so you're going to fall forward, just put your hands on the floor, just a little bit in front of you, and you're just going to tilt your weight up onto your toes, and then back onto your heels, okay? And then drive your heels back down to the ground. So you should feel a stretch in your hamstring when you're driving the heels back, and then on your wrists, just to warm up for your um, clusters and holding your dumbbells. Okay, so five times, forward and back. Oh, nice. When you've done that, move the hands forward until you're in um, downward dog. Okay, so just drive the heels back, heading backwards. And then you're just going to bring the knees down onto the floor, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then push back into that downward dog. Again, okay. So bring the knees down, squeeze your shoulders together, and drive the knees back. Push three. Five times as well. Good, nice. Really open up those shoulders, push the head through as far as you can. Good, nice. So after the fifth time in your downward dog, you're going to walk your hands back towards your feet and then sit yourself down in the bottom of that squat. Okay, so nice normal bottom of the squat stance. Just going to drive the knees over the toes. A few times in each direction, just warming up ankles. Reaching up to the sky, five times. And then placing your left elbow on your left knee, you can use your right hand, just drive the knee out to the side. A few times on each side. And then standing up. Sorry about the noise. Be honest. And then down into your squat. Sending, looking through. Five times. Good, nice. Get nice and comfortable in the bottom of that squat. Awesome guys. And then just sit yourself down onto the floor. Okay, so legs straight out in front of you. Just gonna reach all the way back with the feet. And then roll forwards, touch your toes, hold that, do that five times. Good, nice. So Megan's still there. 
chilling on the chair next to <laughs> Definitely going to get spotlighted in a bit. Um, okay, so we're going to work through um, just a super straightforward body weight circuit just to get you guys moving. Um, so we're just going to work through 10 lunges, um, 10 hand release push ups, and 10 squats. Okay, so hand release push up. Um, you guys know what the other ones are. Start on the floor, lift up the hands, and then up back into your push up position, okay? So not full push up. So 10 lunges, so that's five on each side, 10 hand release push ups, and 10 air squats. Nice, easy pace, just to get the body moving, and we're gonna do three rounds, all right? Give you guys about five minutes. Jow cat always looks like you're in another country. So nice on that little balcony. <laughs> Awesome guys. Good. What was after the press ups? Uh, squats, just air squats. I'll just copy it in here again, anyway. Okay, three rounds, 10 lunges, 10 hand release push ups, and 10 squats. Nice work, guys. Definitely did that wrong, sorry. <laughs> Nice guys. Good squats. Uh, Nick, you can do the clusters today with a barbell if you want. Good. Once you are done, <laughs> um, you just need to get one dumbbell uh, for now, just for this next bit. And whilst we go through the cluster, one dumbbell or one, or one kettlebell. Okay, nice, Elaine. Good, so just get, yeah, just get one of your weights up in front of you. I'm going to talk through the next bit. Okay, so we're gonna go through uh, the, the cluster just on, um, just with one arm first, and then we'll go into um, doing it with two. Okay, so on your left side and your right side, you're just gonna do three cleans, so three, um, three dumbbell cleans or three kettlebell cleans. So from the floor, okay, up to here. It can be a power clean, that's fine. Whichever you prefer, into three front squats. And then into three push press. So single dip, drive, overhead. Okay. And then repeat on your left side. Good, nice guys. All right, Nick, showing off your new ROMs. <laughs> Look at me, I got new lifters. 
They look very nice. Very jealous. Good, so left and right side. And then once you've done that, you're gonna put it all together. Just do two clusters on each side. So obviously now we're gonna be doing <laughs> okay, now we're going to be doing um, a squat. You're going to be cleaning it straight into that front squat, um, into the push press. Okay, so on the floor. Right, like so. Just two on your left and then two on your right. Oh, that really hurt. Yep, off we go, whenever you're ready. Good, nice work. Good, right. Everyone on two on each side. You know what's coming next? Get the other dumbbell. Good, you guys all knew before I even said it. Okay, so obviously um, let's just do three to warm up because we're now gonna be doing sets of tens, okay? Um, so let's do three and we can gauge from there whether we need to kind of scale that number down. All right, so Elaine's doing a lovely demo, so you can all see. <laughs> uh, they should be from the floor if you have dumbbells. So only one side of the dumbbell has to touch, um, so I'll show you what that means. If you've got um, kettlebells, then you can do them uh, from the hang. Right, so if you've got dumbbells, just tilt uh, one end of the dumbbell down onto the ground. Okay, so you can sort of start from here. As you come down. Just touch there, okay? Touch then come up. Because it's actually easier from the hang. So it needs to be slightly harder. Okay, so if you've done three, um, and this feels somewhat challenging, then let's try and scale the weights down. So maybe aim for like eight reps instead of 10. Um, if you did, in, so if it felt like about an eight out of 10, then let's definitely scale the number down. If that felt sort of around five or six, then let's aim for the full 10. Um, we're gonna be doing 10 reps every two and a half minutes. Okay, um, does anyone have any issues with this movement? Any, if you're not sure about how many reps to do. Carl, you're probably gonna do like 50 every round, so. <laughs> okay, so every two and a half minutes, guys. Um, any questions? Everyone's good to go? Cool, top's off already, Carl. You haven't even started yet. <laughs> right, guys, ready to go um, in three, two, one, let's go. First set of 10 out of four. So yeah, if you've got kettlebells, you can just swing them down. If you've got dumbbells, please try to touch them on the floor. Oh yeah, gel cat, just do like eight each side. If you want to do 10 each side, that's up to you. Nice, Aaron. Good, guys. I'll play a bit of music. Nice and again. Thanks, Diane. Did we lose our way? Just a note you can obviously touch them outside your feet, inside your feet, it doesn't really matter because um, it's going to be a preference thing to what you prefer. So if you've not tried inside, then try it, but that means... So you go a little bit wider, touch here, and you can spot it up more together. It's up to you. Um, yeah, okay, so it's about a minute and a half. Right, so you've got a minute until your next step. So that's why I thought a minute is a little bit, a little bit short. Um, also, one note, since I can't see you guys from the side, I'm um, just going to say something quickly. Um, when we bring the dumbbells back down, make a real effort to squeeze the shoulders so we keep the back nice and straight. If you 
it's really easy just to kind of forget and then trip yourself over and you end up with sort of like this curved back. So make sure that we are keeping this nice and straight just to protect our back because it's quite a lot of reps. All right, um, if you want, you can rotate to the side if you want me to check you out. Um, otherwise, if you're more than happy to stay facing, that's fine. Uh, 10 seconds and then set number two. Okay, in three, two, one, let's go. Set two of 10. Nice, Carl. Awesome, Aaron. Nice, Megan, that's good. A little lower on those spots if you can. Awesome, Diane. Good, nice work. Okay, it's just got a minute and a half again. Just a minute. Just set number three. Nice job, Kat. Right, okay, 30 seconds or 20 seconds to go. Okay, 10 seconds, guys. Set number three. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Good, drive those heels down at the top, Megan. Good. Nice, Damien. Nice guys, come on, keep going. Good, okay, minute until just under a minute to your next and last round. Okay, one more set to go.
Right, let's go. 10 seconds, guys. Fourth and final set. Is three. Two, one, let's go. Yes, team. Nice, Megan. Awesome, Diane. Right, let's keep going to the last set. Hang in there. Carl's still going, doing rep number 49 or 50. Yes, Carl, nice work. Good, right, great, guys. So have a little break um, whilst I talk through the next uh, two movements that you need for the next section. So it's three rounds of time of um, kettlebell or dumbbell floor press. If you've only got one, then just do 10 each side. Um, if you've got two, then you'll do 15, okay? So it'll be double uh, floor press and double bent over rows, okay? So floor press, I'm gonna be lying down on the ground. Um, dumbbell on either side. Um, I don't actually know if I can floor press these. It's a bit interesting. Okay, so you're gonna have your feet flat on the ground as well, back into the ground, elbows are going to be slightly flared out, but not all the way out. Um, you're going to press up. Dumbbell should be at chest level, down to the ground. And then up. Okay. Um, and then that is going to be supersetted with uh, bent over rows. Okay, so making sure that we are hinging at the hip. Slightly soft knees, not bent knees just slightly soft, and then dumbbells at your side, keeping your shoulders squeezed, bent over brace. Okay. Any questions on any two of those movements? Um, please just all do five of each. Nice, if the rows are easy, then um, add in a pause at the top and squeeze there before you come back down in each rep. Good, nice Matt, good presses. Nice Diane, great guys. Awesome gel cat. <laughs> Chow cat, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's Chow cat having some issues trying to change arms on that floor, on that floor press. You're going to need to switch, um, flip your watch around on the inside. <laughs> Right, apart from gel cat, is everyone happy with these movements? Um, so yeah, you'll do 10 on each side, uh, gel cat. Three rounds of time. I'm going to give you about 10 minutes for this. It should take you anywhere between seven to eight, all right? Or maybe a bit less. Um, any questions before we get started? Yes, Nick. Sorry, what was the rep scheme? 15 and 15. Okay, it's this middle bit here, B section. I'll copy cool. it again. 
There you go. Three rounds for time, 15 floor press and 15 bent over rows. All right. Um, let's get going in three, two, one, let's go. Good, nice. On those floor presses, keep that lower back press into the floor. Squeeze your core. She's got it now. <laughs> nice gel cat. Good. Nice, Aaron. Great form, good. Awesome, Matt. Great. I am trying not to lift your chest up too much. Really try and isolate the movement. If it's a little bit too heavy, then just do um do it single arm. Good. That's better. Much better. Nice gel cut. Three rounds, guys. Spotlighting <laughs> Megan's job is. Let's go, guys. Nice, Damien. Strong. Nice, Elaine. Oh, 
Good. Damien, you done? No, right. Uh, guys, you got to just over five minutes. We've still got a couple minutes left. <laughs> Okay, nice one then, Damien. Matt, you're done. Nick's done. Good, I think everyone's in the last round. Megan, you're done. Good. Sorry, I spotlighted you because Karma was, was hanging out there. <laughs> Look how cute she is. <laughs> right, Carl, you're done. Come on then, <laughs> hurry up. Elaine, you're done. Good. Diane's done. Okay, you're done now. <laughs> Good, all right. Uh, let's, what was this? Cool, um, so have a little break um, again. Uh, I'm gonna go through the movements for this last little bit now. Um, so the last section is, I'll we'll just copy and paste it again. Four rounds for time, 12 push-ups, 12 DB bicep curls, um, 12 overhead dumbbell lunges or kettlebell lunges, six on each arm. So you'll do six alternating reps on your right arm, six alternating reps on your left arm, and then 12 sit-ups, right? Um, so push-ups, I know you guys will do this one demo anyway. The hands on the floor, chest down and up, all right? Um, what was the next one? Dumbbell lunges. So you're only going to need one dumbbell, okay, for the next bit. Sorry, um, can you spot that yourself again? Sorry, totally forgot. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so push ups for your dumbbell curls. Um, you're just going to hold the dumbbell in either hand and then like so. Okay, um, unless you've got two like pretty light or Two kettlebells that you know you can definitely um, bicep curl. So it's going to be 12 reps of that. And then six, six on each side overhead dumbbell lunges. Okay, so overhead, um, lunging down and up. Okay, so changing legs left side and right side. Six reps on one and then six reps on the other. And then last but not least, sit ups. Hands touch behind your head, hands touch in front of your feet. And that's it, okay? Um, any questions? Do you guys need to run through any of the movements? Um, let's just do like three of all of all of those movements, just um, to warm the wall up. I know you're already warm. So three push-ups, three bicep curls. Just do a lunge on each arm and then three sit-ups. I'll give you- Does it matter if I have it in um, like a front? Rack squat, or I should put it overhead. Um, if you're, does it? Are you not able to do it overhead? I, I can try. I think. Try it if you. If it feels a bit um like worrying, then just go into front rack. So yeah, give it a go. So if you need to, so yeah, with the kettlebell, just make sure the kettlebell kind of sits. If it's overhead, it sits on the back of your wrist on that side. Okay. Good. Nice, Aaron. <laughs> Yeah, nice. And just remember to keep locking out that arm the whole time when we're doing these lunges. Um, but yeah, if you're a little bit nervous um, in terms of like dropping it and stuff, then yes, by all means you can hold it in your front rack. That's absolutely fine. Good. Right. Any questions about any of these movements? I'm going to give you about 15 minutes to do this. Um, 
shouldn't take too long. Give me a second. I'll put a timer up as well, so you guys know. Sorry, computer's being slow. Um, come on. Right. Okay. right, you guys all ready to go? Right, let's get started in three, two, one, let's go. So 12 push-ups, 12 dumbbell bicep curls or kettlebell bicep curls. Six on each side, dumbbell overhead lunges or kettlebell overhead lunges, and then 12 sit-ups. And four rounds. Awesome, guys. Nice, open the curls. So keep the dumbbell overhead, Nick. Stick with the dumbbell overhead and then change your arms. For the lunges, is opposite hand, opposite foot. So lunge one arm. You're lunging with both legs. Okay, you're doing six alternating lunges with your right hand in the air, and then six alternating lunges with your left hand in the air. So if I hold right in the air, is my right foot going forward. Or oh, no. So you're lunging on both sides. You're lunging. Oh, okay. Yep. Lunges. So you lunge on your right, lunge on your left, but you're holding it in your right arm for six reps, and then same on your left. Okay, so yeah, you lunge on both sides. It's nice, they get. Nice, Aaron, easy. Nice work, guys.
Good, nice and then. Great job guys, you've got 10 minutes left. Nice work, guys. Nice, Aaron. Awesome, Dan. Great work, guys. Nice, Matt. Good push ups. Awesome, Carl. Yes, Del Cat. Nice. Matt, if it's a little bit too light, add a tempo. Just slow it down on the way down. Yeah, it feels light, but it's a bit too heavy. Yes, guys, keep going. Good, nice. If you're going to finish in the next minute or so. Feel free to do a bonus round.
nice guys. Aaron, you're done? Yep, you're done. Nice, you're done. Diane, you finished? Yep, good job. Awesome, guys. Almost there. Nick, you're done? Yep. Girl cat's done. A bit of laundry in the back there. Good, nice guys. I think a lot of you are on your last rounds now. Nice, Carl. Good guys, last little bit of setups to do. Yes, Megan, nice work, Matt. Mm. Okay, last round of setups, guys. Work, Damien. Come on, Carl. You only got 12 setups to go. Cheers, Lucy. I've got to shoot. No worries. See you, Nick. Yay. Carl, oh, it's team done now. Good. Well done. Right. Awesome, guys. I'll do a little quick stretch for you before I say goodbye. Um, if you have to jump off before that, no worries. Um, I'll see you guys later. Otherwise, just come down onto the floor. Um, stretch out the legs out behind you. Flatten the feet. And just look up to the sky. Stretch out that lower back. So just shift your weight from side to side, shoulder to shoulder. Just again, just stretch up each of those sides. And then just widen your knees. You're just going to push your hips back, but keep your chest on the floor and push your butt up to the sky. Okay, and now just drop your hips down and just sink down to the floor. Okay, then you're just going to place your right hand in front of your left hand and sit down again. And then swap sides, left hand in front of your right hand. And sit back down. And then last one, just bring your foot across your body, extend out your leg behind you, just sit into that hip. You put your Elbows, hands on the floor as well. Same style. <laughs> Sorry, it's my back.
sorry. And then sort of legs, so bring your left foot across in front of you and extend that back the leg behind and just sit into that hip. Okay, nice. And then we will leave it there for today. Thank you very much for joining class, everyone. You all did awesome. Um, uh, maybe I'll see you guys later, if not next Tuesday. So Thank you so much, girls. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.